What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be building a helmet with little to no post-processing. But wait, how is he gonna do that? Well, good thing you asked. So with all the advancements we have today with 3D printers, we don't have to do as much post-processing anymore. That means less sanding, less bondo, and even less painting. Now, with all that being said, I'm about to show you how. That was super easy. Now most of the legwork was done in the software. Luckily, Bamboo Studios made it super easy and very understandable to get this thing printed out. I got my STL file from DO3D. Now they have this one and with the upcoming Deadpool Wolverine movie, they had an adaption where you can actually take some of these pieces off. They made it very modular where you can take these off and add Wolverine ears, you can print it in different colors. I love the texture that it comes with once it's printed. That way you just pick your color and then you print it out. Now that we got the file, we have to go over and scale it to our head. Luckily, I have a 3D scan of my head that I did using Magiscan 3D. I done a video about Magiscan down below. Once I got my 3D model uploaded to Mesh Mixer, I go ahead and import my 3D file I got from DO3D. You want to pay close attention to the sides and the back. I had a mistake and I'm going to come back to that in a minute. But once I got my helmet scaled to my head, I went ahead and imported it into Bamboo Labs. What's really cool about Bamboo Studio is that you can re-auto orientate the helmet so it can fit on your build plate. Now we're only dealing with a 256 by 256, so it's gonna be really hard to get this big old head to squeeze in there. But once I was able to get it situated, I went ahead and hit print. I did it at 0.20 millimeters and then just hit print. It took about 17 hours. Once I got the helmet out at 100%, it was too small. I can't believe I just wasted a whole day trying to print this helmet and it was too small. So what I ended up doing was going back to the drawing board, 
remeasuring my head, and then I got it out to a 105% scale. That way, that's the, actually that's the biggest I can get on my build plate, and then I went ahead and printed that out. Now, once that was finished, I went ahead and measured it again, and it actually fit. I was super excited about that. Now that the hard part's over with, I went ahead and printed the sides, which took another 17 hours. I did both sides and the back piece. After the sides, I went ahead and printed the eyes, then the little white eye pieces. I made sure I did each filament in each color. Once the supports were breaking off, I went ahead and did some fine cleaning. I went and used my snippers and cleaned up some of the rough edges at the bottom. And then I took my deburring tool and made sure I cleaned just the rest off so it won't be so rough on my head. But so far, I had to do no sanding, no bondo, and I didn't even have to paint this. I applied all the magnets and made sure that they're actually, you know, attaching to each other and then glued it in there. This printed with the texture, that way it doesn't really show the layer lines. On the helmet. The only, the only place that you can see a little bit of layer lines is at the very top where the crown is. You can see exactly where the crown top is. But that's it for layer lines. Even the eye cups came out really fine detail and it's very hard to see the layer lines that were shifting there. And that's it. That's all I had to do was to build a helmet with no post-processing. How do you guys think it came out? I think it came out really good and I can't wait to make more of these. I'm gonna probably do the Wolverine with no post-processing too just cause I can. What other helmets that you wanna see me print with no post-processing? Leave it down in the comments. You guys have been supporting me so well and I very much appreciate it. I'm almost at partner, so just keep doing what y'all doing. If you guys liked the video and you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. Also subscribe and then turn on that bell notification. That way you don't miss when I make my next upload. If you guys wanna see how I built that Deathstroke helmet with real carbon fiber, go ahead and click on the link right here. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless y'all. Peace out.